we are interested in numbers, uh, yeah. depending on the complexity of your bid and how well developed it is, and whether you want to go through down the outline bid route or the full bid route, yeah. you might be more or less ready to, to come up with detail. Um, but we will want to understand uh, you know, how many training opportunities are you planning to offer, um, what kinds of people are you planning to offer them to, uh, if you're looking beyond apprenticeships, what other kinds of training opportunities. If you're developing new training content, um, broadly, what level is it at? What will it cover? Um, but you will be helped through all that kind of thing um, in the form, which will ask for some um, quite specific information if you have it. Um, it's OK to make a realistic estimate. No one's going to hold you to every, you know, every last decimal place. And if you were successful, then you know that would be the sort of thing we would refine in in discussion with you. But we do want to understand the the, the shape of what you're offering and the and, and the quantum, partly so that we can assess um, what we and you are getting for our co-investment. And if, as last time, we find ourselves oversubscribed and having to make choices between different kinds of bids, then that will become important. But okay. but Richard, you've lived yeah. it. We treat it as any other business proposal, really. We actually looked at terms of defining what the requirement was, what we felt we could do. We have had certain fixed capacity at our Preston Training Centre, so we looked at what we believed we could achieve. Um, we have perhaps an ambition to grow that number, but we wanted to be realistic in the first round. So we defined what we believed we could do, and we then built a project around that, that cost. So, you know, tend to be realistic about it, really. And then we've got internal business processes and we put it through the same methodology and rigor of, of, of scrutiny that we would apply to any other investment in the business. Okay, good. good.